Good morning, everyone. So today, Spellbinders has their launch for their new items for uh, May, going into June, and then in June, towards the end of the month, they'll have their new launches for then. So um, these are a few of the things. Today, I'm going to work probably with the Truly Yours collection, but I did want to show you some of the new items that I'll be, um, you know, playing with the next. Uh, few days and weeks here and they did all launch today um, so I'll have the links uh, if I don't have exact names for everything but these items right here are from the uh, sweet cardlets I think two collection but spellbinders did these did send these items free of charge from my review and all opinions are my own and whatever links I have like I mentioned I'll have them there will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links hey guys so oh yeah so this one's a cup of kindness and what's really cute about these um, is that they are foil plates and dies. So there's a combination of both of those things. So here we have our little like teapot and then you have the die for it. I'm not gonna talk about each and every piece. I just wanted to show it to you guys in case you were curious. If you wanted to place an order, you would already know about the other items, you know, a little bit about them. Um, and then let's see, this guy, this is the foil plate out here. And then you can use the little dots in the center. You can use the dots by themselves, super cute. It's about three, just over three inches square. And it has a little sentiment. And then we have um, I said that was Cup of Kindness, right? Okay, I was like, did you call that one a little birdie? This is a little birdie here, and look how cute. So this one has a few sentiments. I love this big script one here. This is a little birdie told me, dot, dot, dot. You're amazing. It's time to celebrate. It's your uh, birthday. Uh, and then we have this cute little um, frame kind of... Uh, foil plate there and then we have the little foil plate for the bird and then to cut him out and lastly at the bottom here I believe this one's called the hemstitch slimline and check this out so this one is just dies it doesn't have foiling um, with it here so we have the outer die this cool like little buck stitch that I'll make you have this one you can layer them in all different ways however you like use the stitch don't use the stitch just use it to cut um, you know whatever it is that you want to cut there a mat and this one is Yes, three and a half. I'm gonna assume by eight and a half. Yep, by eight and a half. And then they go concentrically smaller towards the inside. Um, I have a couple other items. These are from what they call the Liberty Collection. And the Liberty Collection is so cute because it, it has a, um, a Statue of Liberty and I think like an Uncle Sam kind of character that goes into the Sunday Drive dies. And I do have the Sunday Drive dies. Um, but what I picked out from that collection is this, the color block panel. So really fun things you can do with this. So we'll try that out very soon. And then the stamp set. So what I like about the stamp set is that it goes back to Sunday Drive with all different occasions, okay? So there's um, just you know, North Pole Express Delivery, wishing you a day filled with joy, happy Easter, delivering miles across, smiles across the miles, delivering bugs and, kiss, and hisses. And if you have the, um, the original you know, Sunday Drive, you probably have a lot of the little dies that go along with it that are fun. Um, to mix and match for the seasons and so that stamp set will help you round out those cards So what I'm gonna do is put these away and I'm going to show you the items I have for the um, uh, Yours truly or truly yours. Okay, and this is a collection I'll be working with today I'll make a project and then um, uh, a couple more afterwards, but I have an idea what I'm gonna work with today So we have this sweet little dress and if you can see um, it makes little pleats here. So all you do is you cut it out of whatever paper it is you like. You have a little bow if you want to add that. You have the top that has a little ruching, really cute. You have your little hanger and a little belt that even has a little kind of ruching on the side there for to make it look more realistic, right? Really cute. And so we pleat these and we make it into like a little dress. And then um, I just, this collection here has so many cute um, things. I think they have um, like a profile. Was it like a cameo, you know, like it would have? Um, really pretty and just a few other things that go along with this kind of stuff so um, these are the items that I chose so um, all these collections that I just showed you have other items um, these are the items I chose to um, to sample to try out for you guys I love this I hadn't seen something like this so I thought this was really sweet it makes this big circle obviously the center is there and then on the outside it has these little holes and it just looks really cute because it's so delicate with all these little pieces that are missing here so it lo really looks like little little circular delicate areas really pretty um, so we have that uh, set again I'll have the uh, links because I'm not 100% sure of exactly the names on each one uh, and then these two guys they they coordinate together um, this is a die set and then it cuts those cute little perforations if you want to use them if you don't want to use them you don't have to include them as you can see they're separate so you can just do the layers or you can do however you like and these are foil plates so these plates do like a double line I don't know if you can see that 
Really, really cool. And I've shown you guys too how you can just use your plates for like a letter press look or just like an emboss look. Um, but normally people pick up foil plates because they want to foil them, right? But I just love that double line that it makes there. So um, I think today we're going to work with maybe these two. I'm not going to fire up my foil press today, but in the next project I will definitely because you have the sweet cardlets that have the same kind of thing going on. And these guys also have foiling with them. So let me grab some papers and we'll get started. Okay, guys, for my card base, I actually grabbed some papers from the Beach Day kit, the uh, uh, card kit of the month and I have um, card base and I cut down this paper look at this how beautiful is this paper I cut it down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths with a decal edge trimmer so it just has a little bit of roughness on the edges but if you want to cut it straight and it's really just inside the lines as you can see there so pretty I grabbed this pink and as you can see I used it before um, in the last projects I did with uh, the card kit um, so I'm going to use this pink one and I'm going to cut out the larger um, die and I'm also going to emboss it. If whatever your machine does for embossing, if it has just enough pressure that the embossing is pretty good, that's great. I'm going to rubber emboss it just to make sure I really get this circle in here um, embossed, you know, so it looks really nice and substantial in there. Um, and then I have this scrap left over for some projects. I have these pieces here and I think I'm going to make the little dress gingham. How cute would that be with the little floral background? Adorable. So I'm going to use this and we're going to pay attention to the lines because <laughs> if you do this one this way, and so, it, you know, this, I think this paper is forgiving. You just want to pay attention to that, your skirt and everything. I think it's too big for that. Um, are going the same way. I think this one, maybe it doesn't matter. All right. So we have that guy um, from here and maybe from these other, well, I, meh, I'll keep those intact have the top of my dress. Um, I think maybe I'll do the belt. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the belt and the bow because I think if you use the bow it covers the whole waist anyway you don't need the belt. But the belt might help us put it together. Either way I'll cut the belt too just so you can see what that looks like. And then maybe I'll cut the bow from hmm maybe the same pink. We'll see I'll cut it from the same pink and if I change my mind I'll cut it from something else. So we'll do that from here. And then I have the little hanger, and that's why I got the silver paper. I'll do the little hanger with the silver paper, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I have my pieces here. And I did run them through. Um, so with the dress, you know, it has its own pattern. You don't really need the embossing, but um, I ran it through anyway just to help us with the little, um, the little lines, okay? So I'm going to check that out in just a minute. Get these pieces... Out of here, I put a little tape on the back since this piece was so small, I didn't want it to shift when I went to emboss it, so I did put a little tape on the back too. Pop this guy out. Oopsie. So let me get all my pieces out and then we will um, put it all together. Come on. I'm gonna roll it off there. There we go. And you can see the embossing on the back there, but it's not gonna be super noticeable. I mean, you can see a little bit, but again, because this paper is a thin layering weight and it has its own pattern, so I wasn't really um, too worried about that. All right, let me peel these off and I'll be right back. Okay, our card base pieces, look at that, so pretty. I'll put these things to the side while I work on, <laughs> look at that. Um, this little guy, all you're gonna do is fold it if you're gonna choose to use it. Like I said, I'm not sure if I need to, but just more added detail. Just fold it on the score lines. And you have your little belt piece. And that waist is what they call snatched. Have you heard that? I'm sure you've heard it, you guys. It just means like a little waist. <laughs> okay, so let's put this here. And look at that. And I did emboss these because I just ran it through and it put that little heart on the bow. Super cute. Um, okay, let me put this to the side here. And I'm going to fold these both ways because I don't really know which way I need it to go when I put this together. So there's some score lines here. Uh, I'm sure one needs to come forward and one needs to go back, right? There's uh, In each set, there's two score lines. So that when you go to use it, it kind of tucks like this. You see? So I'm just, I'm just going to fold them all back just to give them a, a nice little fold. I'm not bone folding them or anything like that. If you want to do that, go ahead. I'm just... Just giving them a little fold, a little crease. I need to make my coffee. Sometimes I wake up, I 
start watching TV, I get kind of ready for the day, do the emails, do the coffee, and then start crafting. And I skipped over the coffee ritual. All right, let's see here. Okay, so this is the front panel. So I'm assuming these are gonna tuck behind that. So on that first one, tuck behind, and then come forward. Do you see what I'm doing? I guess we can do one side at a time. I don't know why I feel like I have to do them both at the same time. So there it is, that one hiding behind that one. And I'll go on to the next one again, forward. And then this guy coming back on itself like this. I hope that makes sense. Look at that. So on this side, again, tuck back on that first line and then forward on the second one. It's the smallest little pleat. And then here too. So back and then forward. It kind of intuitively just wants to do it as you're folding in. It's probably because of the way they structure the lines. And then you can still see the little, um, hopefully you can see the embossing on the skirt. So cute. So that is our skirt base. And we have our dress top. And then we'll put it all together. So I'm going to adhere my card base. And I'll probably just stick this down. Or should we pop it up? You know, I'll probably pop up the dress. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue these down. So I'll glue this down, glue this down, and the dress will be popped up when we get to that point. And I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to put this aside. I didn't put any glue on the back of the little loops. So they're kind of free flowing. But if you want to do that, you can definitely just stick it down. I just really put the glue on the back of the circle. Okay. So on this part, I suppose you can do this different ways. I think I'm going to put the dress part in the front and then the belt. And I'm just using the belt basically just to help me here put this together. But I'm trying to see if it needs to be. Or should we put the belt first? So what happens is... Um, I have these samples, but you guys will have like more little information. Or at least inspiration on your card there that I'll show you. Okay, that's what I'll do. I am just going to put the belt on and then slide that little top in there. So I'm going to put some glue here. And this is just blind gluing because a little bit low. I don't know if you can see that so I can slide the little top in there. I'm going to add this. Again, I'm using this to help me keep the skirt together really because the bow is going to cover it up anyway. And I'm going to hold it right here. Hopefully you can kind of see where I'm holding it. It's See there's area where the skirt is just under that. So just do that. I'll put a little glue on this guy on the front. I'm going to slide them in right here. So cute. Let me see where am I sliding right there. So I'm sliding it kind of in front of the skirt area of those ruffles. So I'm going to hold this till it sets up and I'll be right back. Yeah. So I think if you were not going to use the, the bow, that's how you'd want to put it together. Just so that the dress, you know, looks more uniform like this. So cute. And again, <laughs> I love the angles of the plaid. I love this. It just reminds me of an actual like sewing project. Okay, and then we have this little guy. Again, it could be a knot by itself. It has like a little heart. And then the little bow, you don't have to use the bow. Oh, put the bow on the hanger. How cute is that? Put this on here. Yeah, it goes this way. Oh yeah, it needs the bow. <laughs> that is so pretty. I know the bow is the same color as the background, but I think it just looks so cute. So, but again, if it was the same um, as the plaid and you just wanna make like a simple sundress, That'd be really cute. Just putting a little glue there. Because it would just be like a little knot. See? Because the texture it has too, it looks like just a little tie. And you can pop this up. I'm just going to lay it right on top of the thing there. But if you wanted to give it more dimension, you can pop that up. Let's see where am I putting this. So cute. I'm going to shove this a little bit higher up. There. All right. And while that sets up, I'll go ahead and add a little couple of drops of glue on the back of here. And put this guy down. And put it on there straight, of course. <laughs> All that little extra glue that got on that metallic paper, we can just wipe away because the glue is 
basically water-based. The metallic paper is very easy to clean up. So even if you have to have a little damp cloth later, you can just wipe it away. But probably as I hold it, I'll probably wipe it off. Look at that. <laughs> so pretty. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have our little dress. Oh. And then I have some pieces um, from the Beach Day set um, that'll finish this off. I think it'll look really, it'll look really pretty. Um, this is basically the same flower that's back here. And I was thinking about tucking that in there. Look how pretty. Just to give a little something else. And then I have this simple sentiment of Hello Sunshine. And I think that'll be really cute right down here. And I think I will dimensionalize pretty much all these things. <laughs> so let me see. Because I kind of, I like the way that looks, but maybe a little bit higher up. So I'm just going to take a bunch of little dimensional adhesives. And, you know, I'll place one like right here just to help me close the little dress there. Put one up here. Put a couple on these edges. So I'll, okay, I'll be right so back. I have a piece on here, um, but not back here. So I'm going to glue it so that it's up. But then there's some glue on the back of that. I just want to see where exactly I want to put that. Yeah, that's good. So that's higher up on that one area. And a little glue down here. I've seen sometimes people put glue on their foam, and I think that's a good idea because what happens is supposedly it starts drying up after a while, or it can. So if you have extra glue, just wet glue, like if you had this, put it on there, it'll just give you that added um, security, right? <laughs> that it doesn't do that. Let's put this here. So cute. Okay, I think I'm happy with that placement. And then this guy, all I did was cut the whole edge off of this. You know, guys know I love to use up all my dimensional adhesive and just pop it on here. And that'll hold this guy up. Let me get rid of that little chad there. And let me pay attention to exactly where this is <laughs> before I stick it down. Pretty good. All right. Super cute. All right, guys. Well, I will have the links in the description box for you. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for uh, my review to make tutorials to try these out. Look how oh, so pretty. I love that game. That's just the, like the size of it and everything is perfect for this project. So anyhow, I'll have uh, some images for you there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Keep an eye out in the next you know few days and weeks for um, trying out the other items that I showed you at the beginning there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Mm -hmm.